Yes, that title is correct. Today you're gonna learn how to kitbash characters together using props. And yes, they are animatable. Let's say you want a model of something, and you have a general idea, but you don't have the actual model. It doesn't exist. Well, using props and the power of source technology, you can actually just construct one from scratch. Right now I want a big rock golem. I don't really have any models of that. So let's start. First we need a reference model. Something with the basic proportions you have in mind. The TF2 Merc roster has a nice selection of proportions to pick from, and Scout has somewhat realistic proportions, so I'm gonna be using that. Now, I'm gonna scale him up to a massive size and position him across my scene. Next, I need my props. I'm gonna use these rocks and this tower model. Okay, so here's the important part, parenting. You're gonna parent the rocks to the giant scout's limbs. Do this by holding control and clicking on the limbs to open the drop down. Then, you're going to drag that bone onto the root transform of the prop. Now go to the default slider and drag it to the right to bring the prop directly over your limb. You'll need to move it around a little bit, but from here it's actually pretty straightforward. You ever played with bionicles? You ever just mix and match those body parts from different sets to create some Frankenstein's monster of a toy? That's what we're going to be doing with this. The only difference is that the props don't snap together cleanly. You need to be ready to clip shit together. Repeat, clipping is almost mission critical here. Now newbies Newbies don't notice clipping. Mediocre artists get rid of clipping. Giga Chad Thundercock artists embrace clipping. Basically, if you take two rocks and just merge them together, you've got a new rock, and that's how you get variety. You can see, looking closer at our giant, that the boulders are clipping through one another. But since they're the same texture and fairly uniform, it's hard to tell, especially from afar. With every limb you complete, you should be making sure that the props bend correctly with the limbs. Moving on to the fingers, this part is basically the same as every other limb, but it's insanely painful, and you're gonna have to make a new prop for each finger. Anyways, lastly is applying a rig to our giant scout, which is currently hidden, and now we can animate him as much as we want. So thank you- <clears throat> So thank you for coming to my TED talk, that's how you make giant mountain monsters. Have fun, buddy. Also, we're like really close to 10k. I'm doing an animation tutorial if we hit that, so knock that subscribe button. Absolutely just smash it to pieces. And if you'd also just hit like to help boost me in the algorithm, I mean, I'd, that'd be super dope. Anyways, I've been CGI Joe. Till next time, keep it classy.